Hello guys and welcome back. This is Vincent and um let's carry on with our server. Well, our tutorial. So um what we did last time is we um started the GUI function and uh we created two functions start server and stop. We've also created uh our variables and pretty much we've just really gone through and started uh the core. So um, what we want to do now is we want to, what do we want, what do we want, what do I want, okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this from here because if the server, if we click this button, even if the server doesn't stop, it's going to get called if it's up here. So that's the first thing that's going to happen. It's going to say, yeah, the server's on. And then it's going to call the, um, the function to start the server. But what happens if that function fails? Then, you know, you never know if your server's on or off. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it down here. And we're also going to put it under the network dot initialize server. So if something, and um, you can only do a maximum of 32 connections at one time with the free unity um free unity um you know free unity pretty much <coughs> so so you got to put 32 in there so after this is called so what happens is uh, what happens here is we're calling the network and we're initializing a server with a 32 max connection with our server port which is up here and then um what is this what is that false and then use not so that's a punch through um, I usually just set that to false so there's no use there's no really it doesn't make a difference if you say yes or not I'll just keep it for false for now and then if there's an error with this the server equals true will not will not com be compiled so that's why I'm putting it under there if everything if everything goes right then it starts if it doesn't it doesn't and we're going to do a network dot disconnect and um, shut down server. Um, by the way, this shuts down all connections on that client. Okay, so if you've got multiple servers running, so if you're going to add two two of these servers, like I did in my one. If you shut one down, both of them shut down. <coughs> Just something to bear in mind. Um, <coughs> ow. Um, we also want to set it back to false. So now our server's off. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So we finished that. Next, we want to get going with a. Uh, a very big chunk but actually what I'm gonna do first of all is I'm going to test this connection possible mistaken empty statement network disconnected else I don't know what that means <laughs> start server okay what's happened here we still get this and I haven't fixed it yet but we will actually that's a good point I want to add a few functions few functions which are recognized by unity and that is the public oh, just void void on server initialized print um, server has started on port plus server one port <coughs> plus successfully um, yeah. server has started on port blah, 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 successfully Great, so that works. 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, add this current scene. I'm also going to add my login. And uh, no, yeah, I'm going to tick one off. I'm also going to create in in our thing. We want to create a new folder called build. I want to create a client folder and a server folder. So th you're going to have to test it on two different clients, well, two different applications to make sure everything's running. You can also open one up in Unity and one up as a build. So I'm going to build a server now. Server 0 0.1. You might also want, oh, that's not going to work. You might also want to keep versions so you know what versions was working, what versions aren't, things like that. So let's see if this works. So yeah, your firewall will prompt you. You allow access, everything works, great. I'm gonna go to my login. That's not my login. That's my login. All right, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna register. That doesn't work. I'm gonna log in. That doesn't work. All right. Title screen. Connect to one. Um. All right. I didn't. I didn't do anything. On uh. Let me just check for those functions. Bear with me. On player disconnect. On player connected. <coughs> and that's it. Void on player connected. Print. We have have connected. Uh, yep. Okay, that doesn't work. Let me just pause it here while I get this fixed. All right. All right, guys. I understand what I did wrong. Um, just to bring you up to date, what I've done is I've um, rebuilt my client. Let me do it again. Oh no, that's not gonna work. Actually, before you do that quickly um, you want to go into your title screen find the function connect and you want to change the port to 25,000 that was my problem okay so I'm gonna build and run I'm also gonna initialize my server in my um, unity so I've started it successfully and now hopefully I'm going to connect register we have connected okay great so we do connect but I see one problem with this go to your um, build settings and player settings down here and you gotta check your running background so that means connect everything happens in the background right now it doesn't so each time I move away nothing's happening so you, that's kinda it's kind of a must. Okay, let me reinitialize everything. We have connected. There we go. Great, so we've got connections between our server and our client. Let me see how long we've had. We've got nine minutes, so we've got about six minutes left. So let me do the most I can in that time. Okay, um, let, I'm going to improve this on uh, player connected here. And what I'm going to add is a network player, player, <coughs> call this the player. And what the network player is, is basically an IP address. And we're going to have, and I'm going to type, we have a connection from player, 
plus. Um, okay, no, actually, and we're also going from player dot ip ip address. That's that's it. Okay, and plus. What am I doing? Okay, there we go. Player dot port. Don't know if that. Yeah, that should work. All right, cool. That was quite confusing for me. All right. So now that we've done that, we can go back and uh, start doing some things. What I want to get going with now is the register. The register RPC call. Start server, stop server. We're gonna keep all of these functions down below. There we go. Okay. So if you remember to call an RPC, you gotta have this syntax up here right on top of a void or a function call this register and what would be what would speed up time is if we go back to our title screen and just copy all of this function they've got to be the functions you create the RPC functions have to be on a server and on the client but what happens in the function doesn't have to be the same and but um, these are uh, things up here I forgot what they're, they're called overloads something like that um, they've got to be the same <coughs> or else you'll get an error okay so um, once we've done that I want to this is gonna be huge but <coughs> it'll be fine if get ready if network dot is a server so if we are a server then we're going to process this information that we get. We're going to do, oh, uh, we can't do that yet. <coughs> yep, we cannot do that yet. Okay, so what we're going to do actually instead is we're going to open up the account structure. We're going to, actually, what I'm going to do is leave it here and I'm going to improve this for later. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye bye.